Hello everyone and welcome to today's vlog. We are going to be doing some days in my life and I am so excited to bring you guys along with me. It is actually about 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now and I'm starting this vlog a little late, but that's okay. I had classes this morning and now I am in a super productive mood and excited to get everything done and everything clean in the house. It is currently the week before spring break, so I have a lot to get done both with classes, tests, and homework, and then also here at home, laundry, dishes, packing, all that fun stuff. So I am excited to take you guys along with me. Today it is literally like 65 degrees, so I am planning on going on a walk outside at some point because it is so beautiful. It's so nice that I have my door open to let in some fresh air. And I will take any and every opportunity to have the windows open or the door open in the house and just let some fresh air in because it just makes everything feel so much better and makes me so much happier. But anyways, right now we are going to start out with doing the dishes because the kitchen is an absolute mess. We've been so busy and so we have stockpiled some dishes and they need to be done. Here is the damage that you can see. We've got lots of plates and bowls, glasses, and then some pots and pans and silverware. Am I ashamed? A little bit, but I feel like it's good for you guys to see because it's real life and not everything you see on social media is perfect and that includes dirty dishes. clean and now I'm going to vacuum because the floor is very dirty and I just want to get the whole kitchen spotless so I'm going to vacuum the floor. I don't think I'm going to be going on a walk today just because it's already 4 30 and I feel like I have so much to do plus I did work out this morning and I went on a walk yesterday so I've definitely been working out and being active so I feel like I'm good. I did have knee surgery at the beginning of this year so I'm still recovering from that and it's a long a long long process and it is a long journey but I don't want to overdo it for that too because my knee does get really swollen and inflamed when I do too much so maybe it's best that I don't go on a walk today but I am gonna go outside and enjoy some nature later I think I'm gonna repot a plant and I thought I'd show you guys I do have a crock pot meal going I am making pork carnitas for dinner so I just have a pork shoulder in here going and it looks and smells amazing I wanna make this forever trying to debate whether or not I keep the earthworm in my plant. <laughs> they are successfully switched and I feel like they will be much happier this way. At least this one will be happier. This one honestly might get kind of crammed. I'm waiting to see because it also has decently sized root. But for now, until I can get a different pot, this one will do just fine. Now that my plants are repotted, I'm gonna run to Walmart because we're having carnitas and I forgot to get limes to squeeze on them which isn't a big deal, but I feel like when it's just lime and onion on it, then you kind of need the lime. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. I thought I'd show you the plants real quick. This one, it is in a very small pot for its size, but this one has much smaller roots than the other one. So I feel like it'll be okay at least until summer. And then when summer comes, I can give it a bigger pot. And then I also thought I'd show you my olive tree because she was not doing so good. She was kind of struggling. You can see the brown crispy tips. 
Still not entirely sure what those are from, but I put her in a new pot that had like drainage and then suddenly she has been getting so much growth over the last like three weeks. You can see like all the bright green at the tips is all brand new growth and it's even growing from like the sides in certain spots like there and there and here and I'm just so excited that it's finally doing better. So hopefully that makes up for all the damage that was previously done. Okay guys, so I'm back from Walmart and I am going to shred what is in the crock pot and then broil it for a little bit so it gets a little crispy. And then Branson will be home and we will eat dinner and it's time to do homework and wind down for the night. Hey guys, I just got done eating dinner and they were pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I think now I'm gonna take a shower. I'm really tired and I'm hoping that wakes me up a little bit and then I think I'm gonna make a London fog. My friend Katie introduced me to London Fogs the other day and I had never had one before her and they are so good. So I am going to make one because I want a warm little drink and I'm not really feeling a regular tea. So I think that that will be really good and then we can cozy up and do some homework and maybe some editing. Okay guys, so just showered up and I am getting ready to do my skincare. When I'm in the shower, I wash my face with this botanic tree glycolic acid cleanser. Um, Branton got me hooked on it and it's very good, but uh, you're not supposed to use it every day like a normal cleanser because it is a little stronger. So I usually use it two, three times max a week. And then the other days I use Crunchy's The Balm. So, so good. This is amazing at removing your makeup and it just gets everything off and your skin feels so hydrated afterwards. This is it. Um, you can also use it as a face mask. So you just put it on uh, for a couple minutes. I think like less than 10 minutes and then just rub it in with some warm water and it's great. So I love this, but since I wash my face, I won't be using this, but it's great because it works as a makeup remover and a cleanser. Next to my routine is this Clearlight, which is also by Crunchy and it is a facial essence, which is kind of like a toner. And I just put this on a cotton ball and rub it all over my face. And it has helped tremendously with my acne scarring. If you go check out my Instagram, I actually have like before and after pictures on a highlight where you can see how much it has helped me. And it is literally insane. After that, I go in with some whipped beef tallow, which is like as natural as it gets, straight from a cow, cow's fat and it's just rendered, cleaned, whipped up, and it's so nice. It's so soft and smooth. I buy mine from Etsy because it's where I find I can get the best quality for the cheapest price. However, there's plenty of people that sell it off of Etsy, so you could definitely look into that, but it just, it's so good. It is so soft, it melts into your skin so nice, it leaves you glowing. And not only that, but beef tallow is naturally my antimicrobial and antibacterial. So it helps with acne spreading a lot, which I used to have a big problem with was my acne spreading from like one spot on my face to another, just from things like popping zits, which I know you're not supposed to do. But this helped a lot with that, so love this. But yeah, that's my skin routine for the night. And then I have a slightly different one in the morning, which is far, far less, but this is very simple, very good, and it has helped my skin so much. And I actually have a link and a code for 10% off your first order with Crunchy. So I will put the link and code in the description so you can go ahead and check that out. Now I am going to make a London Fog. Darling, I know it's hard to let go. talk to you guys yet it is about nine o'clock and I woke up this morning early to make my sourdough dough and I made dough for four loaves which I have never made that much at one time but if you guys don't know I sell sourdough 
and it's been going decently well but I've never had to make four at a time so I woke up early to make four loaves and then they're going to be fermenting throughout the day. If you want to see a video about how I make my sourdough, I have a really beginner friendly video that I just posted last week and it really breaks things down at an easy to digest level I feel like so definitely go check that out if you're interested. Okay here is the outfit. We're wearing some jeans from American Eagle and then a sweater from Maurice's and I did not realize this but I'm wearing a sweater because it is so outside. I did not know it was supposed to get so cold today, but when I was looking at the weather at like 4 o'clock yesterday, you know, it was like 65. Today at 4 o'clock, it's supposed to be 20 degrees. So, we're dressing a little warmer. Welcome to the Midwest spring. And that makes me even more excited to leave for spring break. I'm just gonna throw on some earrings and a claw clip, do my last set of stretch and fold of my sourdough, and head to my first class and then i think i'm actually gonna get coffee afterwards because a really sweet friend sent me money to go get a coffee so i need to take advantage of that i think okay we'll see if this stays i don't know we've got a little bun up in my claw clip and then look at my waves they are so kinky right now i love it so much I wish that I could get the top layer of my hair to do this because I love how wavy it gets. But the top layer of my hair, like here, doesn't really get the waves like the back does, but obsessed. I just got out of class and it is a little windy. Uh, my hair is a mess and it got so cold so fast. It's already 30 degrees. So already below freezing, don't mind I'm out of breath. I was like running to the car because I was so cold, but my hair is a mess. So I'm gonna go get a coffee and try and get warmed up in the car and then go home, eat some lunch and do some homework because I have so much homework this week, it's not even funny. But I am so cold and I am regretting not bringing my coat. Holy cow. <laughs> Coffee secured, I got a brown sugar cinnamon honey latte, which is my go-to, and it's what I make at home a lot as well. Um, again, don't mind the crazy hair. It is so windy and getting so cold that I literally do not want to leave my house once I get home, but I still have to go to another class, and then I have to come home again, and then I have to go to physical therapy, and then go home again. So, my journeys out in the cold are not done for the day yet, but I still got an iced latte, so, you know. I just got done eating lunch and now I'm going to go to my last class of the day. This is my digital marketing class and it is by far my favorite class, which makes sense because my major is digital marketing, but it's just so fascinating. It does a lot with like search engines and social media and all that good stuff. Websites, love it. Okay, now I'm on my way to physical therapy, so don't mind the hair we just have up in like a little half bun, but it is literally flurrying right now. Like little, it's not snowing, but like little snow pearls. It's <laughs> so cold and yet again I went without my coat and I don't know why I think it's just because I'm trying to convince myself that it's spring and not freezing So I just got out of physical therapy and it was so good I feel like my leg is getting so much better and it's just very Very fun. It's very rewarding to see the progress I make with weights and stuff Also, don't mind all of my baby hairs at some point. I apparently ripped out some hair so we're working on regrowing that, which is a crime because it is so much and they always just stand straight up, but hopefully they'll regrow soon, right? Right? I don't know if you can see that, but it is officially snowing now and it is 16 degrees. 16. Okay, so I am back home now. So I am getting ready to shape my bread and bake it for my customers. And then I think I'm gonna sit down and have a snack or dinner. I'm not sure. It's only 4.30, but I don't know that I'm ready to eat dinner yet. So I might like make a smoothie or something, but yes, I am going to go ahead and shape this bread. And again, if you wanna see how I make my sourdough, I will have the video in the cards and then, yeah. Okay, first loaf is in the oven. And then here I have my second plain loaf and then my first jalapeno cheddar and my second jalapeno cheddar. Really excited to see how these turn out. I think that now I'm gonna make a smoothie even though I might eat dinner soon just because that sounds really, really good and I'm craving some fruit. Then I need to go crank out some homework big time while these things are baking.
next day I ended up just kind of locking myself away and studying for the night and right now it is before my classes and I just put on some blush and mascara and that's it for the day and I'm going to study a little bit more before we leave. In case you're wondering, it is five degrees out this morning. Hello guys, I'm back home. I did not vlog much of school just because I had an exam and then I was finishing an assignment that was due like in a couple minutes because I accidentally procrastinated it. But we are back and I'm going to make myself some lunch. I think I'm going to make an omelet and I think I'm going to either start on homework or do the dishes, both of which need to be done. And I also need to start laundry. We have just a little bit of sourdough left over, so I'm going to eat that with it. I know that when I say I have dishes, you guys are thinking, didn't you literally just do a ton of dishes? And yes, I did. But I feel like without a dishwasher, dishes pile up so fast. And then because I bake out of my home, that requires even more dishes and for me to constantly be keeping my kitchen clean. So there's always dishes to be done. Here is the meal. The kitchen is clean and the dishes are done. Here's my bread that I finished last night. I don't think I actually showed you it, but I baked two jalapeno cheddar loaves and then two plain loaves, and I have someone coming by to pick them up. Now it is time to work on some homework. I took a break from homework and made dinner, and I made homemade mac and cheese, and then we're using leftovers from when I made the crock pot meal of the pork, and we're going to use that to make barbecue pork mac and cheese. Here she is. Let's eat. Hi guys, it's a little while later. I finished eating dinner, did some homework, and then now it is time to go to Branton's band concert. And I am actually going to bring my book bag because I'm going to work on homework and sit in the balcony and just kind of listen while I work on homework. And I'm also dressing super cozy. I am in sweatpants and flare leggings and I normally dress a little bit nice for these. Not like nice, but you know, like jeans and a sweater or something, but not tonight. Tonight we are going to just Listen, relax, and do some homework. I also have to make bagel dough when I get back, so I'm gonna be doing that and then I will cook them in the morning. Okay guys, so just got back and I am going to make some bagels and my sourdough starter is ready and bubbly. You can see all those little bubbles. I mean, how cute. And so I'm gonna make some bagels and Branson's gonna heat up cinnamon rolls for us and then I am going to finish up some homework for the night, which I am not looking forward to, but I'm trying to push through tonight so that I have less to do tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I feel like I didn't vlog at all yesterday, but maybe I vlogged more than I thought. I don't know, but anyways, it's the next day and I got up early, made bagels, and had a really bad migraine again. So I ended up going back to bed for like 40 minutes and then getting back up, getting ready. And I didn't film my morning because I was filming it in a reel. And I usually try and do both, but every time I do both, I end up taking way too long to get ready. So I chose to not do that, but I'm sitting down with my coffee and my Bible, and I am going to just do some quiet time before I leave for class, which is very, very soon. Thought I'd show you guys the fit though. I am wearing some Can Can Skinny jeans, which are definitely worn. Like I need a new pair, even this belt loop. I don't know if you can see that, but like the belt loop came undone. So they need to be retired, but we're gonna wear them until they wear out. And then I have this really cute shirt from American Eagle and I've had this for years, but I love it so, so much. Time for class and I brought my coffee to go because I did not have time to finish it. Hello again. I just finished up my classes for the day. So next on the agenda is therapy in a little bit. And then I just have homework, laundry, and some last minute cleaning since we are leaving tomorrow night, which is crazy. Okay, I'm getting ready to leave for physical therapy and my shoes just got out of the washer and they look so good. This is my first time washing tennis shoes, so I was a little nervous because I didn't really know what I was doing, but they look so, so good. And I know that they don't look stark white, but they were never stark white. They were always kind of like an off-white cream, even when I got them. So they look so good. Okay, y'all, I'm back from therapy and I just made myself a little smoothie because I'm super hungry. Therapy always makes me starving. So I made this and it's basically the same as last time, except for I put a scoop of collagen in it. So good. And now I am going to kind of clean up our bedroom get all the laundry that needs to be washed 
and get it started in the washer. Then I'm going to do some homework and then I think dishes. I don't know, we'll see. I have a big test tomorrow that I need to study for and I don't even know when I'm gonna study for that, but I will, rest assured. And I will also wake up early tomorrow and study it. But I'm gonna drink this smoothie, get my clothes ready to go in the washer. I woke up cold and out of touch The photos and the memories will never be enough But if I could walk those streets today Would you still feel so far away? Do you remember Good morning guys, my hair is very crazy from sleeping on it but I am just studying for my business law exam before I go in this morning and take it. After this, I really just have to go to two more classes and it's spring break. Cheers. I think that I am officially studied up at least as much as I'm going to get. So I feel like I understand it very well, but we'll see how this goes. Will the rain ever stop? Will the rain ever stop? Reminding me of you. Right. Hello guys, I'm back again and I just got back from my last class. We had a really small midterm, so that's done. Super happy about it and now I'm officially on spring break mode. I just have to pack, get the house clean and I'm good to go. Branton's at work right now and he forgot his lunch, so I'm gonna bring him some lunch and stop and get coffees for us. Dishes are done, but they all need put away. And then I need to finish up like one load of laundry, I think, and then pack my stuff. Just make sure the house is all clean. I need to clean out the car, wipe it down, make sure it looks nice. And then, what else? I need to make egg salad for everyone because everyone else is working right now until we leave and I'm not, so I volunteered to make dinner to go for everyone. And so we're gonna have egg salad and croissants and so I'm gonna make that this afternoon. That way no one has to worry about dinner and we can just leave once everyone is off work. So I also have to do that. But yeah, let's bring Brandon some lunch and coffee. I got a pot of gold latte, which is a new March drink from them. And it is hazelnut, vanilla, and honey, and it's very good. And then Brandon got a nice caramel latte. Okay, egg salad is made and it's chilling in the fridge. I have kind of started packing, but I am going to go clean out the car a little bit, wipe it down, and then we'll pack some more. 